All right, Coach, uh, teams heading back onto the road uh, and starting November with a conference series at Western Michigan. It's, uh, you know, coming off of the Bowling Green series, a uh, split. That's what you're looking at for the team to kind of take out of that from, you know, grinding one out on Friday and just kind of getting back um, to kind of creating a little bit more uh, more sustained attack this week. Well, I think uh, if we reflect back to the month of October and our, our start and um, you know, at three, two, and two, with uh, a lot of situations where I think our team has grown, um, I would say that we're probably very pleased with with the progress that our team has made and uh, and the process in which we've uh, gone about doing things. Um, obviously, Saturday night didn't go the way we wanted to. I didn't think we played. Uh, as well as we needed to, to to compete with Bowling Green on a on a consistent level, I think we had a couple of shifts here and there that uh, we might have pushed back a little bit. But uh, uh, but for the most part, I think the month of October has been a good learning experience for our team, um, understanding how to you know work at a at a high level and our standard here at Miami, uh, not only in games but in practice as well. And um, you know it's been a lot of uh, uh, a lot of trial and error, maybe uh, a lot of teaching going on. Um, so I, I think if I again, if I look back, you know, pleased with the month of October. Um, but now we start conference play and now we have to be ready to go and we've got to be ready to play at a high level. And uh, as I told the team on Saturday, I don't consider them a young team anymore. And we've got to make sure that we're, um, you know, executing at a high level and preparing at a high level and uh, doing everything just a little bit better than than uh, you know maybe we did a week ago it seemed like Bowling Green had a little bit of an unpredictable style um, maybe tried to get your guys a little bit out of position uh, what do you do to to keep your guys playing their game and not kind of get pulled into playing a different game in there well yeah I year? think that's that's part of the mature maturing process and you know the growth of our our team uh, I think you're going to face teams that play certain styles, and you're going to have to counter uh, against that, and you're going to have to continue to play the way you're capable of playing, and um, you can't get frustrated or things like that. So, um, you know, again, if I look back at the month of October, we've been through so much, you know, close games, overtime games, games where we were behind, games where we were in front, you know, games that we got, you know, like I said, Saturday night or our butts kicked and, and, and games where we've scored goals and we've been leading by, you know, three or four. So uh, we've kind of run the gamut on terms of, you know, uh, ex gaining experience through game situations where, um, you know, if, I don't know if you could have predicted that we would have gone through all those experiences. So uh, we feel good about that, uh, but we also have to remember those feelings and we got to remember uh, the lessons that were learned in those games. Looking ahead to next weekend, um, a big physical team, a uh, team that's well coached and um, a team that you know quite a bit about. Uh, what can you look forward to this weekend in, in getting into conference play? Well, Drew, I think you, you hit every, every strength that they have. They're well coached, they'll be well prepared. Um, their forwards are fast and dynamic. All four lines can play. Um, you know, their, their defense core is mobile and they play a fast game. Um, their goaltending has been real solid so far. And um, so, uh, you know, again, you got to – in our conference, you have to go and play your best. That, that just allows you to be in the game. And then you've got to get uh, – you've got to execute and you've got to do things a little bit better than your opponent. So um, our focus has been to, to be ready to go on Friday night and, and try to get better each and every day. Uh, in all aspects of our game. Obviously, playing as often as you do over the years, you're quite familiar with how Western Michigan goes uh, about uh, playing their, their games. And these matchups have frequently you know, come down to a lot of special teams play, and Western Michigan's uh, power play has been a uh, pretty defined strength so far. Miami's penalty killing, pretty defined strength so far. Uh, so what do you see um, I guess on, on tape as far as needing to, to neutralize out of the special teams play of Western? Well, I think you've got to limit their opportunities. They're, uh, they got two units that I would call 1A and, 
and 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 one B. Uh, they really don't have uh, weaknesses on either one. They 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 have guys that can one time the puck. They got lots of movement. Uh, they've got skilled players on both units. So. Uh, we're going to have to block shots. We're going to have to make sure our sticks are in lanes and taking away uh, their passing lanes. And, um, you know, we're going to have to make some saves. Uh, uh, you know, other than that, uh, you, you got to do what you do. And, and um, you know, we're going to stick to our strengths on that. We've talked a, a couple of times during the season um, what, about it, but what can what can you do to improve on face-offs? It seemed like that was a a little bit of a struggle, particularly. Yeah, it was Saturday night for sure. Uh, I thought Friday night we started the game off uh, a little bit rough, but I thought we ended up pretty good, maybe a 50-50. So, you know, that, that's a huge part of the game. You, you've got to win face-offs, and I think it's it's uh, it's a responsibility of all five guys on the ice. We've got to be a little bit more intense on face-offs. At least Saturday night we weren't uh, very intense on on a lot of things. So I don't know if you could take Saturday night. And, uh, and and generalize over the course of the month of October, but um, but certainly faceoffs are very important. They will, they will be important against Western Michigan. They have real good centermen, uh, but the intensity of all five guys on the ice have to be uh, has to be paramount, and, uh, and and guys need to be ready to go. Obviously, conference play starting with Western Michigan, and uh, say it every year about the makeup of this league and the intensity that uh, is required just to. Get be in the games uh, on the weekend. It's, uh, how prepared going through with that kind of entire gamut that you said you feel this team is to really kick it up a notch for you know NCHC play for the most part the rest of the way. Well, to to simplify your question and to answer your question in a very simple way is we don't have a choice. Uh, it doesn't matter what's happening in the month of October whether we're ready or not. You better be ready on Friday because they're going to bring it. So. Um, you know, I think we're ready. Uh, I think we've had a good month of October. Um, I think our guys have gotten better. Um, we have an opportunity to see what, we, what we're made of on Friday night and, and to see what we have. And we also have an opportunity to continue to get better. I, I don't think we can lose sight of that. I don't think, um, you know, the way we do things and the way we operate, we're, we're, gonna, we're ever going to lose sight of making sure that we're getting better each and every day. And, um, you know, that's that's still the number one focus for this hockey team. And, um, you know, it's our job as coaches to make sure that we manage that and, and make sure that uh, uh, that's at the forefront of their mindset. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks.